While exploring GitHub, I came across with a project named Sherlock. It is one of the best projects I have seen in a while. It is basically an OSINT reconnaissance tool. It takes username as an argument and shows the username occurrences on different social media platforms. So let's look at how we can install and use it. First, we head over to its GitHub page, which you can find it in the description down below. Then we copy the clone link and clone the project into our desired directory. In my case, I just clone it in my desktop. Then we open up a PowerShell window and head into its directory. There we execute the ls command to see the file contents. As you can see, we have requirements.txt file. This is the file that includes the project dependencies in Python. So make sure that the Python was installed on your system as well. Anyway, to install the dependencies, we need to type the command python-m pip install-r requirements.txt. Then we execute it. Now we are ready to use Sherlock. Using it is pretty simple. We just type python sherlock and give the username that we want to search. In this example, let's give my channel name, Mr. Random Generator. Then we run it and it starts searching according to the username that we have provided. It can take a while, so I will be back once it's finished. As you can see, it listed the found profiles. And to be honest, there are some interesting stuff right there. Like for example, it found an ICQ account. What is that, 2002? Come on. I guess I probably had Messenger account as well. Anyway, I digress. This tool is amazing and it can provide a lot of useful information. You can also give additional arguments to it as well. For example, if you want to expand your research, you can give dash "-t argument", which adds store to its search parameters. We can also give parameters like CSV for exporting CSV files, JSON for exporting JSON files, timeout for giving timeout limit to our search requests, and so on. You get the idea. To find it more about them, make sure to check out the official repository which you can find it in the description down below. That said, I hope you've liked this video. If that is the case, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. And also don't forget that, like with many reconnaissance tools, use this tool responsibly as well. See you next time. Take care.